Right guys, so here I have a genuine Highland board um, and I'm going to show you what it's supposed to do. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to just wind this down. My 10 turns, probably should have done this. Uh, and what we've got here is we've got a 10 ohms, 10 volt, 10 ohms resistor. Okay, and <clears throat> We are going to, the reason I put this in is because this is plastic on top. It enables right on here and then, you know, I'll clean it off afterwards. So I've put those up just on here to stop this in case it gets too warm, sitting on there. So we've got a voltage meter and that is connected here and here. And we've also got a current meter and we are connected, um, you know, we're coming from the positive through our meter, back through the negative through the resistor. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is first of all is I'm going to show you how this pop down here, the rest that we call it in the instructions. The instructions that you get with these fake boards, these ones, um, are actually the original instructions kit. And if you look on there, I'll put a picture up. If you look on there from the original instructions, you'll also see that the board has the voltage regulator facing the same way as the pass transistor okay so they both face the back i mean it's ideally uh, situated in a way that you could probably uh, connect this to your um, heat sink if you wanted to but so what we're going to show you and then i'm going to show you you know how it doesn't actually work on this so first of all let's give it some power and i'll just turn this down all the way let's give it some power okay so as you'll see on both these meters, not a lot's really happening until I start turning up. And as you can see, we're on one volt. Um, and automatically, let's just bring that down, a little tiny touch. But you can also see that we're on um, uh, not quite 100 milliamps. But that would be around about 100 milliamps there. And if we go up um, a couple of volts, let's go to... Let's just go to 5 volts in actual fact, because that will put us halfway in between what we're going to be looking for. And what we're going to be looking for is around about half an amp. So we go up to around about 5 volts. Okay. And here we go. And we have just about there. It's tracking up pretty much the same for the current. Which is lovely. Okay. Not as easy to do this 10 turn pipe, it's a little bit sensitive in areas, but it is probably one of the cheapest ones I could find. Bought a couple of them, uh, they're really, really cheap off eBay, so I didn't expect them to be really good to be honest with you. But they do the job just for these playing around, and that makes them ideal. Now, um, what we're going to do as well is now we're going to go up to 10 volts because this is how you can set up and you can start marking off if you wanted to on your current, um, whatever enclosure you put it into, like it suggests. In the instructions, or the destructions as we like to call it sometimes, um, that yeah, you can set up then to calibrate your one amp. And this is exactly what we're doing here, like this. And that's what we've got. At 10 volts, we've got one amp. And our current limit has kicked in. Now, if I just turn it off, oh, not so easy to see it. But I don't know if you can notice, that's a nice little red colour. Nice little red, and um, it's not too in your face like you could still read that if it was up on a if it was up on your um, um if it was up on your um uh, you know let's say you're doing a video at night the last thing you want is a bright white led shining in your face while you try and look at your meter uh, unfortunately what comes with these boards is that bright white led um just, you know I, I don't know what to say um, when it comes to these boards, it's just that uh, they're terrible. Anyway, and now what we want to do as well is now I've got this, um, the voltage all the way down. Now it doesn't say whether we should do this with a load or not, but I think just for this, I'm going to take the load um, out of the circuit. So we don't have this load anymore. And I'm just looking down at these, uh, the voltage down here. Now what you can do with this trim part down here is you can just calibrate your voltage in beautifully. Or, you know, get it to the best you can with the, with the pot that you got. So if I take this down like this, look. Um, 
I think. Can I get out there we go? No, just just keep that a little bit back again. Just I'm just turning this back and forward a little bit, just trying to find that little sweet spot. Really quite happily just sit on the zero. And I think we're probably good there. Just that little hair's breath. Ah, the Eagle Sitting Player, there we go, look. Ah, now we've got a plus, look at this, look, 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 look. But this is something you're going to find, you know. You can't expect all these to be absolutely, uh, absolutely spot on. But it's going to give you good enough. Okay, it's going to give you good enough. And that's, and it's certainly going to give me good enough, so that'll do for me. Remember, this is millivolts. Um, but if we put that, uh, we start turning this up again. And then we see how far we go. All the way up to full voltage. And there's no load on this, so I'm just going to twist that up a bit quicker, just a bit more aggressively, just to get it running up there. And this will do itself. You don't have to calibrate this. This is because I've got 24 volts coming in. This is what I'm going to get out. You know, once you take into account the losses of the circuit, because uh, 24 volts to DC would be 36 volts. But and that's how it's supposed to work. This is how one of these is supposed to work, and they work great. I've had this one for years, and it works great. Um, but now I'm going to show you what happens with these other boards. So just. I may as well just leave it rolling while I swap this out, mine. So, first of all, just pop those in there. Now I've got 12 volts and 12 volts on this, so I've joined them together in series, and that enables me to have 24 volts AC. Okay, right, so now what I'm going to do is, first of all, we're going to use this little meter, I'm going to take these out of here, because if you notice, let just shift that out of the way, and I'll turn that off for a moment. And I'm going to pop these over here, because this is where our output is, and these little grips are quite happy to grip hold of those. And they're insulated away from each other, which is quite nice. Um, we're going to look, first of all, at the what we're looking for, is to bring our voltage to zero. The radius there. Okay, and again, we're going to be using this little this is the 1010 uh, pop for that. So let's switch it on and see what we got. No surprises from last night, hopefully. All right, well, straight away, we've got our, um, our LED coming on, as you can see. So, get that out of the way, actually. It's a bright white. Lovely, that's what you want facing you while you're trying to look at your, your display on there. Okay, and then on here, look. We're going to put our um, a voltage meter, can you see that? Let me see that. Okay, and then we're going to use our twiddler to adjust this. Now, the problem that I found is we can't really adjust it, but look, we're on millivolt range. And hear that clicking? Yep, because we're at the end of the range, so we're going to slowly go down because it is a bit of a sweet spot on this that you've got to find for it to start making the adjustments. But look, if I, um, I turn my voltage all the way to zero, my current all the way to zero, even if I turn the current up, it's still not turning out this. It's still saying it's, you know, the current uh, is being regulated, which is no good to us. Absolutely no good. But let's carry on going around with this and see if we can just get this to adjust at all. At the minute we're on minus seven and point seven. And we're gonna see if this makes any difference. I'm going slower and slower because I do realise that uh, you know, like I said, there is a bit of a sweet spot on this and see so you can have to just slowly go through till you see this start to fluctuate. 
or that's probably the right word. I don't know. I didn't get a very good education, so. Um, but you'll see a difference. If this pot is making any difference, <laughs> we should see a difference here. But I'm afraid. Oh, let's just go back there a bit. We did see a slight bit of difference going on. Yeah, can we get that to go any lower? Well, I don't think we're going to be able to because. Just because I don't, I don't think it's actually. I think that could have just been. I don't know what that was. But I'll just keep twiddling this around. Keep twiddling it around. And nothing. Nothing. To be honest with you, I've got a funny thing. We've probably been around more than 10 times now, but it's not clicking. Oh, a little. Just get back up a little tiny bit. It's fine there. But trying to find a sweet spot like this, that's it's just you no, know, you get a lot more area for trying to find that sweet spot. A little place where you just bring it all down to zero. Its full voltage will do for itself. But look, this is doing nothing, and we've gone around this more than 10 times, and this pot isn't giving any indication it's got to the end. That possibly faulty pot. But look what happens when we turn the, the voltage all the way up. Now this is supposed to set itself with 24 volts going in to um, give you 31 volts basically coming out. But that is that is the full amount. Can't turn it anymore. 26.31. And if you think about 20, 31 volts and 26 volts, that's around about 5 volts difference. Now, is that relevant? I don't know. I don't know, but it, but it is that difference. But it just means that we can't really do anything for current either, because I can turn this current pot all the way up to the right, and turn the voltage all the way up to the right, and there's still no difference. Now this is before, this is how I left the other board. And this would be the other board, and I just left it like that. I just thought, oh, I'll just see, just leave it and see what happens. And what happened with that was, oh, let me turn the lights back on, I forgot they were on. Is it, um, well, it did that. You can see that well enough, but it did that. It sort of like cooked it, cooked it straight across the up amp. Beautiful, huh? And that was sparking and all sorts, and so you know, it's just a quick having to pull the power out, which is great for having these things. It's very easy just to off that. Um, and of course to put it back on again but that's that's the problem with these with, the, with this particular one this doesn't do anything we can try another one we can stick a, we can stick this one on as well just to show you the difference here and I've actually changed out the op amps here for, for well for the, 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 the claim to be <laughs> the real ones it's hard to tell isn't it my future will be buying from proper places unfortunately I'm getting a bit before when I started buying stuff I didn't mind it was cheap it was cheerful it'd come you know you get a, a bag of uh, 100 nanofarad um, film capacitors for a, for a dollar you know basically 99 cents post it I mean, oh, you can't, I don't think we can post anything in this country to my neighbours I wouldn't be able to post to my neighbour for less than that price that's without the uh, the components but so, as you can see, you can see what one, the one that's supposed to work and does work and is in fact an original, that, that they work. But these ones, they don't work. So buy at your, um, your own, you know, your own risk there. Uh, but if I was you, I'd look out for these. I wouldn't just trust the first image, like uh, the one on Banggood because, well, they've obviously got another image of these types of boards, and it's these ones that they send out to you, not these ones. Okay, guys, I'll look at some more things with this uh, maybe in the next video.